He doesn't say, go back to where you're originally from to someone who looks like you or even someone who looks like me. He says it to four black and brown people. You know, he was saying it to four people, four politicians who have thrown barbs at him. He's never said it to vile. a white person. They have been but he's vile in what they've said. never said it to a white person. But that means sure. that they're completely immune from anything because of no, their skin color. Just, and that's really what the Democrats are trying to say. They're people well, who uh, happen April, to be black and brown. April, I think, let's yeah. go back to what you said. You know, you got to turn mm. that to the other side as well. You're saying that he's doing it for the Republican base. You don't think today's resolution was done to spark the left? Of course it was. It was to throw red meat to the left no, to give wasn't. them what no, they want. Of course it was. We have never had a president in the U.S. history to have to have a resolution placed and to say And we've gone down a very bad rat racist. hole we right now. We have never had that before. So tell me, Excuse tell me, me this. What did okay. you just say? Keith. Wait a minute. Wait, wait one second. So when, Ilio, when Omar said the completely anti-Semitic things that she said, what happened? What did the Democrats do? They couldn't even name her in that resolution. They balked for a week and then just Listen, said everything Rob, is bad. Rob, it, it, Rob, seriously. You, you're, you're, no, you're not, no, no. You're not seriously going to stand here. You're not, you're not seriously going to sit here and pretend like the problem is not the president of the United States of America. Forget what any other freshman member of Congress is doing. We have a person who is the head of our executive branch of government, the president of the United States, engaging More in leader. repeated, incessant, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic attacks on people who are different different from him. No, and this is unbecoming with. of the presidency of the United States. No. There's a it's, difference. It's one, thing for, it's one thing for a freshman member of Congress or you or I to say something, but the president has a moral responsibility to lead Joe and to Biden. bring our country together. There is no okay. other person ahead, who Rob. has that duty, and Joe, he has failed to do so. Joe Biden, is he racist? What does this that have nothing to do with Joe Biden? Joe Biden is not the president. Answer the question. Stop bringing Obama and Biden into everything. You need to stop this discussion. No, 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 no. Because it goes one way with the left. No, no, no. no. It, it no, no, no. no. Way no. Way no. This is the no. point. Let's go back to President Donald Trump and what he did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Rob Biden did not spend five and a half years talking about Barack Obama's birth certificate. Kamala Harris brought this up, not me, right? So it only goes one way, and this is the race card that is played by the left. Stop deflecting and deal with President Trump. Okay. Stop. Really okay, let Rob, let Rob, let Rob finish this point. Rob, can I just ask you, Rob? You can't you disagree never... on politics in any okay. way, shape, or form. But here's the point. Here's the, the, point. Here's the, here's the very simple racism. point, Rob. You would have never tweeted what he tweeted. I would not have. No, okay. I because you would say it's a racist think, thing to tell a black think... or a brown person to go back to a country no, they came it is from no. when they're born in the United States. It's not racist to tell somebody to go back to their country. Let me finish my. Let me finish my. He's going after four politicians who have been the face of the Democratic Party now. Do it on merit. And they have been. And do it on merit. Do it on merit. Somebody no, you can't. Tell you to that's go the back point. To, to you, their country when they are all Americans in the okay. first place. That's the point. Okay, you can't do it on merit anymore because that's all the left does now is this play is the not game. About the and it's and they're attack. Right. Yes, we, it is. We, they're we, attacking no, their own. Pelosi. No, no, Rob, Rob, stop it. Just Pelosi. Stop, stop, stop the nonsense. Seriously, you're Keith. better than this. We had a, co a civil conversation no. in the green room, and, and we you always come here will. on national television. Maybe you're trying to pander to Donald Trump. Not at all. This is not who you are. I've had to deal with this in my career, by the way. No, Rob. I've had to deal with this. This is a guy. You know okay, this guy. let Rob, let let me Rob respond, and then I want to play Kellyanne. You, you okay. know this guy, he started in the 70s. He was sued by the Nixon administration for racial discrimination. He spent years lying about the Central so, Park Five. His own casino workers accused him of racism in the 80s. He spent five and a half yeah. years lying about Barack Obama's birth certificate. He started his campaign. Well, that one is he impossible start, to get around. Okay. okay, let Rob go. Let Rob go. Mexicans and Muslims. You can't okay. tell me you don't know this guy is a racist. Rob. Where we're at right now in this country, is you cannot disagree with the left because once this you do, yes, yes, Rob. it is. That's all it's Can about. And, and the left has been Rob. eating itself. Let Rob just finish. Rob, April, I, I promise you're next. Let, let Rob April. just finish. April, the left has been okay. eating itself okay. alive now on all of this you're identity politics. Pelosi is a racist now. And then she comes out to change the subject and says, if you mm. wear a Make America Great hat, it's because you want to make America white again. And if you want to know why people are really pissed yeah. on the right, or just average citizens who voted for Trump because they couldn't stand racist. Clinton. They're yes, racist. Yes, no, because we're being called racist. You're, you're more because worried we about disagree. being called racist than actually being we're racist. We're not. And that's the problem. Because that's you, the point. Anybody who supports Donald Trump today is a racist because you're complicit with your complicit so, so with you just said it. racism. So you just yeah. called April. me a racist. You're complicit with his But no, racism. but you just called me a racist. So, you so, are too a racist if you support Donald okay, Trump. Okay, so you just made my point. I know you. I know I like you, and I like you too. But you just you made my point. If you continue to defend Donald Trump, you are a racist. 
made my point. Him. 62 million Americans are racist. That's the so baseline Rob, right now. There's a lot okay. of and that's where we are in the left. Okay. April, Rob, I want to... Go ahead, April. Sorry. Okay, I want to. I want to. Uh, Rob, I, I get you. And 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 there's <laughs> passion around this issue. You have to appreciate that, Rob, because there are communities that look like me, who are still at the bottom of the barrel. This is beyond politics now. This is humanity. And today, I I had to take a deep breath. I I took a big gasp actually, when I went on Twitter, and I saw this cartoon, from Ed Hall, a syndicated cartoon. And what it was, was a Ku Klux Klan hat on top of the White House. And it's a sad day when you have people looking at that as it's true. It's not saying that this is something we've conjured up. There are people who are continued, or there's a continued effort to degrade them. And these four congressional leaders were degraded just because of the color of their skin and their gender. Now, I'm going to ask you a serious question, and I want you to answer this, Rob. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that if you had a chance to be in my shoes or those four congressional leaders, would you see it my way? Mm. I Would can't answer that. that. I think it was insulting. Mo- I'll give you this. Mo- okay. I think it was insulting what he wrote, but I don't think it was racist. And the point of the fact is, from my perspective and so many other Americans is, the minute, the minute you fire back, the minute you answer back or attack on policy, you get branded a racist. That's where we're at in this country. So and, and Rob, my, my question on this, though, is that in this case, I understand Rob. your point of, 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 of perhaps you don't want to vote on one resolution because then there's a whole slew of them. Oh, come. it's going to be nonstop but, now. But, 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 but I will say this. The tweet was racist. You can argue he is not a racist for but saying But you can say it. that. Many people will disagree with you. It doesn't mean it's true. There's a no, lot of it, people who don't think that. They thought that was okay, par for the then, course then I, then I would, and not I would invite someone racist. to say when he has said that to a white person. Because he hasn't, Rob. Because okay. he hasn't. But let's right? say he does. Is it Just racist right? or is it insulting? a lot of people say something doesn't mean it's true. A lot of people thought it wasn't racist Just to have slavery Democrats and segregation in our country. Of but, course but, it was. But people defended that. And you, Rob, know better that you have seen the history of this president. I understand you have a personal relationship with him, but this is indisputable. You can't tell so, somebody to I go back to their own insulting. country and claim that's and so not can racist. I just, can I just, can I just, because this is where I want to play Kellyanne Conway, because she tried to do something absurd, what which was did. try to say, oh, everyone's ethnicity yeah. matters. And first of all, when ethnicity matters, you end up with things like Yugoslavia. I mean, in all seriousness, mm. it's, a, it's a ridiculous and absurd mm. thing, and people should understand. But we're not going but, that where we're okay. not going right now in this country. It's but, balkanized. This country is completely balkanized. Who's okay, responsible but for let me that? play oh, Kelly and Comet. Let me play what she tried to do to this question, right? After the president says to the black and brown people, go back to the country you came from yeah. when they're from here. Then Kellyanne says this. What's your ethnicity? Why is that relevant? No, no, because I'm asking a question. My My ancestors are from Ireland and Italy. My my own ethnicity is not relevant to the question I'm asking. That is scary. Okay. She's why does a anybody's eth- but why, but she's personal. trying to make a point to a white guy that your ethnicity matters? Okay. Uh, that that that's crazy. So is that going to be the topic for the it's next personal. three days? It was a personal attack. Once this ends, well, it's so funny I mean, how, it's so funny it was a personal how, attack. How, how Rob. Republicans and people on the right spend so much time talking about we should not be balkanized and it's not and we're, we don't see color, but in every opportunity they they find a way to bring color or race or ethnicity or some no. sort of issue to divide the country. No. You know, the I didn't like I didn't like George W. Bush, but he went to a mosque after 9/11. A lot of Republicans didn't like Obama, but he did try to bring the country after the, together after the financial crisis. This guy has spent no time trying to bring our country together. He's been running a campaign attacking Obama and Clinton and Democrats and everybody else. Yeah. He has no presidential quality. He's divisive to the core and racist as well. And that's not the way the union but he's in our o- country. He's an occupant. And he's been considered an occupant of the White House and an illegitimate president since about 3 a.m. on election night. Because I left the hotel and there were already massive demonstrations impeach him on what we'll figure it out it's been were that going way to impeach Hillary since... Clinton even before she got elected oh, they no, were saying please. that they were Rob. saying that in October of 2000, come on, come 2008 Rob come on you don't be a hypocrite just don't be a hypocrite I'm not Rob it's I'm just not. one of the things that makes America the hypocrite great. here Rob, is, makes America is the Democratic great. Party that couldn't even condemn Omar for her direct remarks which are anti-Semitic you, did you, you have a point did you condemn the anti-Semitic attacks that okay but what about the other three but what about the other three 
Wait, hold on, hold on. Again. Did you condemn that? I've, right? I've condemned did things you, on the. Did absolutely. You condemn yeah. Let me just take a step back. On George because Soros? it's fine for people to define themselves however they choose to define themselves, but it is un-American to define somebody else by their ethnicity or where they come from. Most people right. do not even know. That is the whole point in this country. We're all such a mix of things. I yeah. mean, sure, take pride in your past if you want. That's your prerogative. One thirty-second, this. One sixty-fourth, this. One one thousand sixty-fourth. Right. Something. Right. And, but now they want to know people's ethnicity. It, that, it's just disturbing. Well, I, look, I think she was just bantering Aaron, over there. Aaron, I think this is disgusting. Aaron, I, Final Aaron word, I'm going to say this. I'm a black woman. I'm, I'm a black woman who identifies with those congressional leaders because all you have to do is change the names and scenarios. It could have been me. He's already called me a loser and nasty. What next? So this is this is the beginning. This is the ramping up of the 20, uh, 2020 presidential campaign for this president. This is the beginning. And I'm telling you, if this is the beginning, we've got a long way to go and it's going to be even worse. And I remember mm. I remember when he started with Obama and we saw how that spiraled and went into more. And it's gone into Colin Kaepernick, LeBron James, Maxine Waters, Frederica Wilson, even the royal Meghan Merkel, April Ryan, Yamiche Alcindor, Abby Phillip. Where else will it go?